a review of my 175 pound agrifab spreader that's this episode of death by bungee death by bungee A couple people had hit me up on YouTube asking me about the spreader that I'm using for the spreading of lime on the food plots and all that good stuff. I think somebody asked the same question on the Facebook page as well. And for that reason, I am going to do a quick video on it. We'll treat it as a review of my Agrifab spreader. This is the 175 pound model. It doesn't weigh 175 pounds, but technically it supposedly holds 175 pounds. In my experience, it really only holds about three bags of lime. That's about 120 pounds. Weight-wise, the structure may actually support more, but in the end, it'll hold about three bags of lime or two or three bags of fertilizer, somewhere between 120, 150 pounds capacity is what I have found it to hold. It does a great job with that, and then you just keep an eye on it and refill as needed. If you're doing food plots, anything larger than those micro food plots, those small food plots, you're gonna need something along the lines of this, some kind of spreader to spread your lime and spread your fertilizer. The reason I say that is, is it's a lot better to have something like this pulled behind your ranger or your four-wheeler or or even your lawnmower, your riding lawnmower, that's a lot better than trying to carry 40 pounds at a time over your shoulder in a shoulder spreader. Those things are just uh, very uncomfortable. You can manage a lot more lime, a lot more fertilizer with something like this. Now, Agrifab and other companies make a variety of different uh, models of these spreaders. I like this one because it's larger, greater capacity. Uh, and but it sits lower to the ground. Some of the other models that Agrifab and those other companies make tend to sit up a little bit higher and they don't look like they're gonna ride across the ruts, ride across the woodchuck holes and generally work behind a four wheeler and rough terrain like this uh, on those food plots after you've tilled it up or plowed it or what have you. This just seems like a better model for that in my opinion and I've been very happy with it. This one was $230 on eBay. I think it was just about 230 bucks. Uh, free shipping, shipped right to my door. My lovely wife had the patience of putting all this sort of thing together. She has like never ending patience to put stuff like this together. Did a great job. It really wasn't an awful lot. It came in several pieces, but she put it together properly, got it out there, and we've been using it since last year. So I've used this uh, since about a year ago. I've had it for a full year. I've used it throughout that entire time. I used it last year to put on lime, last year for the food plots, for putting in the fertilizer. One question that came up is, can you seed with it? In other words, can I put seed in here and go through and seed clover, for example, out of here? I think to seed clover through something like this, uh, you'd have to have it on the absolute smallest setting. You would want it on a one, I guess, uh, in order to do some a seed that small. No reason why you can't seed with it, but it's got a the hopper on here is so large that unless you're seeding 20 pounds or more of seed, I don't think it'd be worth your time to seed with this. I still seed with the shoulder bag so that'll hold 20, 30 pounds worth of seed, no problem. Put that in there and you can walk around with that and, and actually... Uh, and broadcast that seed with one of those over the shoulder spreaders. I use that for the seeding, but for liming and fertilizer, this is just the ticket. Now you can see I've got it in the back of the Ranger here. That's one of the things I like about this model. It is small enough to fit right in the back of the Ranger, but large enough that I can pull it kind of comfortably behind the Ranger. This really is built more for something the size of a riding lawnmower or a four wheeler, where you can keep an eye on it a little bit better. But I have pulled it around the field with my daughter sitting in the back of the Ranger, looking out at it and telling me uh, how much of the fertilizer or lime we have left. She's really good at that, enjoys that kind of thing. Uh, so it does go behind the Ranger as well. It's just small enough though that I can pick it up when it's empty, throw it right in the back of the Ranger and take it out of the woods here, go back to the uh, up to the house. I can take it back and forth between the food plots and the house, no problem. One other thing I like about it, about the design, is th these rugged tires and stuff, they are inflatable. Uh, they keep it up off the ground a little bit. It only has two, three, four inches of clearance at the most. So if you've got it filled up and the ground is soft, it will sink in. And if it sinks in, then you might end up in a situation where you're digging the ground where it gets hung up. So you do have to, in instances where the ground is too soft, what I like to do is, I don't fill it up all the way, I just put it up two bags, leave around 80 pounds full at the, at the most, and then pull that until as it 
lightens up a little bit, it doesn't tend to sink in too bad. Generally, that hasn't been a problem. I did get hung up once down in the well pad when it was just simply too wet to do it. But that's why I try to put on most of my lime in February or March if the ground is still frozen. Uh, drive around, put the, the lime on when the ground is all hard and frozen. Put it right on top of the snow if you have to, and that way it can soak in as that snow melts and good to go. One thing that I have found with this is the adjustment here. Works pretty good, but one of the problems that I've had is this knob that you can adjust, uh, you can tighten it up so that the slide will not go up and down, so you can hold it in one spot for adjusting it. The problem was that this lever likes to float. So this opens up the size of your opening, so it, it keeps wanting to close up and not actually stay tight against this lever. I just wrapped a bungee cord, not that kind of bungee, I just wrapped a bungee cord around it though to hold some tension on it so that that lever stays tight against this rail, tight against that slide. Works perfectly. One thing that you do, you got to keep an eye on though, the, one of the problems that I found also is that eventually this little tab that acts as a stop for the lever, this little tab uh, eventually bent. So that drastically changed the measurement here on this thing. That is a problem. So you do have to watch that. Not a problem. What I do is I just adjust until I feel like it's where I want it to be. Look down in the bottom and you can kind of see. Uh, if you flip it up, you can look at the bottom, look at the holes in the bottom uh, where the seed would drop out, where the fertilizer would drop out, where the lime would fall out, and just make sure it's the right size. Then you keep an eye on what you're spreading, adjust it as you're going, and you're good to go. Well, I hope you've liked this episode of Death by Bungee. I hope that answers the questions that you may have about the AgriFab spreader that I use. If you have more questions, feel free to ask here on YouTube. Uh, post a comment or a question to me on the Facebook page if you prefer. That's great, too. And until next time, all hail Bungie! Bungie.